One of the things you never expect to find when you go working in a garden is a 700 year old coin that can get you in trouble 14 years in the future. And yet fate decided that that was exactly what had to happen to a little girl of only nine years old. Kate Harding, a British citizen who's the protagonist of this story, had decided to go help her mother with some labors in the garden when she was only nine years old. It was at that time that during work, the little girl found what seemed to be an old silver coin. She saved it and never talked about it until a few months later after her mother died. Harding, now 23 years old, approached museum experts trying to get an understanding of the history behind the coin she found when she was just a little kid. It turned out the item wasn't exactly a coin, but something similar, a peedfort to be more precise. And even though many people could argue that the look of a peedfort is very similar to the look of a coin, there's a difference between them. A peedfort is generally thicker and weighs approximately twice that of a coin. Plus, it's also believed that such item was never used as currency. But if peedforts weren't used as currency, how were they used? Well, it's believed they were used as guides for mint workers and as reckoning counters for officials. However, the particular peed for young Kate Harding showed to museum experts was a representative object marking Charles IV's ascension to the French throne in 1322. Due to this reason, Miss Harding was requested to inform about the ancient treasure to a local coroner. This way, after a proper examination, the museum would be able to buy the item and everyone would be happy. But after a couple weeks, Harding decided not to do such thing and continued on with her life. Unfortunately for her, the Treasure Act of 1996 claimed that any object older than 300 years old and with at least 10% of precious metal content had to be reported to a local coroner in a period of 14 days. Failing to carry out such duty would be considered a criminal offense. And so, because of not wanting to report the treasure, Mrs. Harding was arrested and prosecuted as a lawbreaker. She faced up to three months in jail and a fine, but walked free from court when her lawyer claimed that she didn't report the treasure because of disorganization and because it had a sentimental value to her. In the end, the young woman was set free under a conditional discharge and had to pay $25 to continue with her life. As for the museum, the so-wanted Piedford never made it into their facilities. In fact, when Mrs. Harding decided to speak with the local coroner, she said she'd lost the item, and so because of that, authorities stopped harassing her. Of having sold the Piedford, Missford would have been rewarded with 2,000 pounds, but as far as we know, she probably still keeps it as it's of great sentimental value to her. Now, tell us, what would you do if you found something similar? Would you report it to a museum?